All right, so I was having a little chat online with somebody about how long uh, this bridge could run off of a smaller battery. And we were talking about about 300 watt hour battery, which is essentially what this Jackery is, it's 293 watt hour rated. I got a little tired of waiting for it to go to 100%. So we got 99%. I'm gonna run my 55 quart Alpacool CF55 fridge and see how long the little jacker unit can last in the wild so it's 3 30 on a sunday and it is about 85 degrees according to the weather and it will get down to a low of 72 so the fridge has not been on so it's going to start a balmy 90 degrees inside <laughs> itself so the compressor of course is going to run a bit more than it would if it had been pre-cooled so this is kind of about as harsh as it's going to get i think since it has to start from scratch cooling itself down so you can see there it's at 12.8 volts and the jackery is putting out 32 watts right now so we're just going to see kind of a little stress test of how long these two can run together so this of course is going to be with no solar input or any other type of charging we'll see what happens it's been one hour the compressor of the fridge is off. It's down at 32 degrees, which is what I preset it to. And by the way, this is on eco mode. And then the jackery is already down to 86%. So it used about 13%. But you can see there, it's only uh, only chugging in uh, two watts. So obviously when the compressor is not on, this thing is not really drawing much of anything. So that's the good news. But it did take 13% to get to that point. But like I said, started at 90 degrees and had to cool all the way down to 32. So I think that's a little bit of a stress test for it because I don't think, I think most people would have it cooled off before they started their journey, obviously. You wouldn't just arrive with a hot fridge. All right. All right, so now it's 10.30 at night. So it's been seven hours since I turned this on. All right, so it's 10.30 at night. It's been seven hours since I turned on the fridge and the Jackery is registering 49%. So drop 50% from the 99% when we started. And the fridge is registering at 33 degrees, so seven hours, 50%. Seems like you don't want to be able to get through the night without any solar or other charging of the Jackery. All right, so it's 1.30 and it's been 10 hours. Fridge is at 31 degrees. I don't know why it's lower. <laughs> and the, hey, and the Jackery is also at 31%. So we have 31% on the Jackery, 31 degrees. You see how it holds its voltage? That's so cool. Okay. So, 10 hours later is where we're at. I don't know if I'm going to make it all night. Okay, so the low tonight is slated to be 72 degrees, and it's currently 75 degrees still. So, it's pretty warm, and I feel like it's warmer in my van in the garage than it is outside. So, take that for what it's worth. All right, it's 3.30. So, 12 full hours since I turned on the fridge. We're at... 34 degrees, you can see that, and 21% on the Jackery. All right, so it's 352, it's at 19%. I'm gonna hit record, hit footage of how long the fridge will run. All right, so unfortunately the camcorder I set up to record the Jackery depleting all the way down to 0%. Quit recording after 30 minutes, and so I wasn't able to see it go to zero, but I did confirm the usage rate that I noticed throughout the day which was essentially 1% uh, per 10 minutes so uh, if you average out the first 12 hours it used 6.5% uh, per hour and then in the last 50 minutes I observed it used 1% per 10 minutes so which makes sense that it would be a little different uh, later on as it used more power to, to cool down since I hadn't pre-cooled it the beginning of the test. So at that rate, uh, the Jackery would last 15 and a half hours running that 55 quart refrigerator. I like this test because it was done, you know, in the heat and in the humidity uh, that a lot of people are going to run into in the summer months uh, in North America. Obviously, if you had the solar panel hooked up or you were driving, you were charging uh, the Jackery while you were, while the fridge is running, Obviously, that's going to keep the battery up uh, in a way that this test didn't reflect. And also, um, I did not have anything in the refrigerator, so that might change it slightly. And 
I do have the insulated bag though I didn't zip it all the way but are just things that you should know. One other thought is that I did not uh, charge or plug in any other appliances or electronics which obviously is not uh, real world use probably for most people. They're gonna buy a power station to plug in whatever electronics they have to it. So there's just things for you to keep in mind. If I was going to run uh, one of these 12 volt fridges off of a power station, I would definitely plan to get a 500 watt hour or greater uh, after w observing this test. And uh, that would give me a little leeway to use some other devices, uh, charge some other electronics, and still be able to get through each night with the refrigerator running. Also, you could uh, set the fridge to you know, be at 40 degrees and it wouldn't work as hard. If you're anywhere that's cooler, uh, fridge isn't gonna work as hard. So there's things that you can factor into your decision. Okay, I hope this video helps you decide uh, the right course uh, for your gear needs. All right, have a good one.